Today, I'm delighted to announce the launch of Mobile Metrics, which is a new series inside of the Pulse 8 Academy. To date, I've covered topics with you, such as geofencing and beacons and how to build these customer journeys. And all of this stuff is very important, but unless we can actually get customers to download our mobile apps, unless we can move them beyond that download, retain them and then build revenue with them, there really is no point in learning how to build these customer journeys and do all of the tactical stuff. So over the next six weeks, Mobile Metrics will take you on a learning path that sees you build funnels within your mobile application, unlocking the secrets of how you can profitably acquire customers, how you can retain them, and how you can build revenue in your mobile app. Let's do this. So you're serious about your mobile app, but how serious are you about growing your user base and measuring your metrics? If you really want to supercharge your results, you need to get absolutely obsessive over the details, tracking each user stage at the funnel and every event in your mobile application lifecycle. So as part of the mobile metric series, we're going to be using a very popular framework made famous by entrepreneur and investor Dave McClure of 500 Startups. Pirate Metrics, because it stands for user acquisition, activation, retention, referral, and eventually revenue. So as a pirate would say, Arr! and we want to get these customers, we want to bring them through this funnel, so let's get into it. So acquisition, so this is you know, getting people to download the app and then actually do something within the app, not just downloading it. Activation, do they actually start using the app once they download it, do they go a little bit deeper into the funnel, moving forward to retention and how long we can actually keep these customers engaged in our mobile experience, in our app. Do they tell others and at what stage do they do this? And then are there opportunities to create revenue within our mobile application? So let's go over these again. We've got acquisition, activation, retention, referral, and revenue. So from an acquisition standpoint, this goes way beyond the download. Getting someone to download your app, this is nowhere near enough because a lot of people that download the app won't actually even open it. So you wanna track when you consider a user acquired. It's not just a download. You wanna make sure they've opened the app. You get that event, app was opened. Maybe they spent between 10 and 15 seconds within your app they clicked a button or completed some kind of action. But we keep this kind of light. And then in terms of activation, um, you know, what do they do the second time they open the application or even the first time, we need to get very specific. And every application, of course, is different. Your app is gonna be very different to the next person's. You have login, some people will have social sign-in, you'll have add to cart, someone will have add to favorites. So you need to kind of think about what the funnel is within your own mobile application, then get specific of what a activation onboarding flow would look like for your company. So with acquisition, it is you know, tracking beyond that download and a very small bit of activity once the app is open for the first time. And then when we consider users activated or onboarded, you know, it might be them creating an account, it might be completing some kind of a social sign-in, it could be visiting a certain number of sections within the app or spending a longer period of time, maybe 30 seconds they spent in the app, and that's when we consider customers being activated. Then moving on to retention. Uh, retention strategies can really make or break your application because if you're getting a, a boatload of users coming in and then you can't figure out how to retain these customers, you've got this kind of leaky bucket and you're kind of screwed to be honest. So you're not retaining your customers. One of the biggest kind of vanity metrics that we see um, a lot of companies talk to us about is the concept of MAU or monthly active users. And this is, um, it's a vanity metric. You know, someone that opens your app once within a 30 day period, just by opening the app, that's not really considered. Are you really retained? Are you really an engaged active customer just because you opened this app and then shut it down immediately? So we don't think MAU is a good measure of, um, of engagement or retention. So I'm just gonna put an X through that and we need to like get this out of our mind as a retention metric. It's much better uh, rather than MAU, something called maybe GAU or genuinely active users might be a little bit more accurate. So again, every application is different. So how can we define a, a kind of a custom funnel at the retention stage? Well, it might be, you know, not just opening the app in that, in that 30 day period, um, define what the core functions of our app, what our app does, and what is the user journey? So if your app is about booking a flight, if it's about completing a cab ride, if it's about 
purchasing a product, well then surely that is what you count as retention in a 30 day period. 30 day retained, it has to be completing the core functions or a subset of those functions within your app, not just people that open it. And then of course, referral. So this is something that is a little bit less obvious. It's harder to track. So we need to get quite deliberate in building this into our mobile application, into our strategy, how we track this. So it could be prompting users to leave a review on the app store and offering them some kind of an incentive. Um, of course, we only wanna ask the customers that are really engaged and find our app useful. So segmentation is really important here to give them some points or unlock sections based on uh, sharing on social media. And then of course we need to track the number of people that actually complete those referrals and, and share it on social media. So if it's voucher codes that they're sharing on Facebook from within the app to get some kind of a benefit themselves, then we need to be able to track those referral codes back to that individual customer. And then we want to track the referrals, what the acquisition and activation and retention itself looks like for the people that are referred by that particular individual. And of course, we want to measure what the conversion is between each of these steps, but I'm going to be covering that in a, in, a, in a later video. And then last but not least, and obviously highly important, is revenue. So can you track the transactions in your app per customer? So you want to instrument your app with all of the correct revenue tags and event tags so you know when someone buys a feature, if you're a business, I'm guessing you're charging for your app at this stage in terms of an in-app purchase, an upgrade, or some kind of a subscription, for a premium level feature. And we wanna be tracking things like the spend per customer, any discounts that they are given, any refunds that are given to that individual customer, and also really importantly, the gross margin per customer as well. And this is gonna get really, uh, these metrics get really important when we think about things like CAC or customer acquisition cost versus lifetime value. And we're gonna be building in the series of videos on this one by one, a video each week that covers each stage of the funnel. In next week's video, we're gonna actually build a customized, fun customized funnel for your mobile app because every app is different. You will have these stages in your funnel, but the event flow at each one of these stages will be customized for you. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that what kind of a conversion rate you can expect with baseline data at each stage, how we track it, how we measure it, and how we achieve success in your mobile application. After that, we're gonna do a video each week. We're gonna drill right down into acquisition, then on activation referral. I want you guys to know at each stage how you can build this into your strategy, into your app, and achieve great success. So thank you very much for tuning in to, the day, to today's episode, guys. Uh, I'm Patrick Letty, see you next time.